all right now in this video we have to see how to make the box travel from one conveyor to another conveyor and to stop the previous conveyor once the box has been delivered to the next conveyor all right so the objective is let me do it manually for you the objective is when you press the start switch this conveyor should start running and the moment this conveyor not the conveyor the moment this box reaches sensor zero now let me stop here now when sensor zero is on you'll find this indication here at this part we need to start this conveyor okay which is actuator one this should be on immediately when the sensor zero is on and this should keep running this conveyor but once this conveyor not this conveyor once this box leaves that sensor zero then this conveyor should be off yeah this should be off here okay once the box leave that sensor this should be off automatically and once this box reach sensor 3 here that's the sensor 3 then this conveyor should stop it should stop here okay this is the objective we need we need to just start and stop the conveyor using box position so for that we'll be using some extra commands so the first step is using the switch to latch the output which is pretty well going okay okay next is when the sensor 0 is on the moment this sensor 0 is on this conveyor should start okay so for that let me go to offline and generally you know when you when you play around with sensors when you take the sensor signal to turn on the outputs we usually take the rising edge which makes the program very easy to follow and to troubleshoot we use rising edge so I'm going to use here rising edge rising edge means it's a bit which will just be on for a moment suppose the sensor is on for like five seconds but you need just a single pulse when the sensor is on you will use its rising edge all right so this part is okay using start button you are latching the output now I'll take a rung here I'll take a rung above that I'll take the first oops not this one first sensor sensor 0 which is I colon 0 slash 0 and let's name it sensor 0 sensor 0 is going to latch my next actuator which is actuator 1 this is actuator 1 so I'm going to take latch again and I'll tag it with O colon 0 slash 1 this is my actuator 1 okay so the sensor is going to latch the actuator so I told you that we will be using rising edge of the sensor so if you want to use rising edge you will not you will not latch it directly instead you will take go to the bit and you'll find OSR one shot rising click this one and you will have a block okay now on this block we will enter some memory addresses storage bit and output bit in storage bit we use internal memory addresses or internal bits of the PLC in this PLC our bit starts from B B3 colon 0 slash 0 or 1 if you want to see here let me show you that if you see this table you'll have binary bits here these are helping bits these are helping uh, help in solving the program or designing the program very easily so you can use this one auxiliary bits we often call it auxiliary bits so the storage bit I'm using the first bit which is B3 colon 0 slash 0 now this is a standardized addressing this is how we have to address the bits second one should be different from the first one it will be 0 slash 1 okay so it's 0 and it's 1 now in this block when the sensor 0 is on the storage bit will be high high means it will be true it will be 1 okay when the sensor is on this bit will be on so this bit will follow the status of the sensor but the output bit is actually the rising edge when the sensor is on this will be on for a moment and it will stop even if this sensor is on for a long time but this will be on for a moment using this bit we are going to latch the actuator one so from here you take one more letter take no contact and just drag this over here okay now this becomes rising edge of sensor one I'll write it R sensor 0 not sensor 1 R sensor 0 rising edge using that we have to latch the output so you will use latch and give it the address O colon 0 slash 1 okay so with the rising edge of the sensor actuator 1 will be on now the objective is when the box leave that sensor it means the falling edge when the box leave that sensor then this conveyor should be off actuator 0 
So it means we need to have a falling edge. That falling edge comes when the sensor gets off after getting on. <clears throat> that is a falling edge, okay? So with the similar sensor here, we have to use falling edge. So the, for, the, for the falling edge, you have OSF, one shot falling, which we can take in the parallel of one shot rising. So go to the user, take a parallel rung and connect it like this. Over here, take OSF, one shot falling. Give the address, which should not be similar to this one, but you can give B3 colon 0 slash 2. And here you can write B3 colon 0 slash 3. Okay, so it follows the same principle. Storage bit actually defines the status of this one. This will be on if this is on. But the output bit is the falling edge, which will be on for a moment when this sensor gets off after getting on, okay, which is the prime objective. So take another rank, take another contact, and tag it with output bit of falling edge. So I'll give the address falling sensor 0. F sensor 0, that's the falling edge. Using this falling edge, we have to unlatch actuator 0. So you take unlatch. This is also unlatch actuator 0. Just drag the address here. So this will be unlatched. All right. So we have rising edge to latch actuator 1. Actuator 1, yes. And falling edge to unlatch actuator 0. Now the box will travel to that part. And we will have sensor 3. Using sensor 3, we have to stop actuator 1. This actuator, OK? Using sensor 3. So for that, I'll again take another rising edge of sensor 3 in this case. So I'll take another rung. So it will be 1 i colon 0 slash 3, which is my sensor 3. We need its falling rising edge. So I'll take, I'll go to one shot rising, make it the address b3 colon 0 slash 4. And this one, 5. Okay. So using 5, we have to unlatch actuator 1. So you'll go here, take a rank, and a contact, take the 5, this is rising sensor 3, unlatch actuator 1. This is actuator 1, give the same address. This will unlatch your actuator 1. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's it may look a bit lengthy for the beginners, but that's just, this is how we have to proceed. So I'll, I'll start again with this bit, i colon 0 slash 12. We are latching the actuator 0. So what's happening with this start button? This uh, conveyor will be on. When the box comes to sensor 0 with the rising edge, this conveyor should be on. So sensor 0, its rising edge is this one. With the rising edge, actuator 1 is on. So this actuator is on. Now the box will leave sensor 0, which, which, which should turn off actuator 0. So when it leaves sensor 0, we take falling edge. So this is falling edge bit, comes here to unlatch actuator 0, actuator 0. Now the box is running forward. With sensor 3, this conveyor should be off, actuator 1. So sensor 3, rising edges, 0 slash 4, sorry, 0 slash 5. With this one, actuator 1 will be off. And this is a stop button, which is turning off the actuator. So this was the simple logic, just to travel the box from one location to another. So let's try that going to download in the PLC and let's see the results. Oh, initially it's running, let me stop it. Okay. Now when you press the start switch, you will find this will be true. Let's start from the beginning. This is the start switch. When I press, this is slashed. Now you'll come with sensor 0, which will give the falling edge, rising edge of this one, which will latch the actuator, actuator 1. Like that, when it leaves, actuator 0 stops and it moves forward. Until it reaches sensor 3, this conveyor will be off with the rising edge. Right? Like that. So let's try again. Let me throw the box away. I'll press the start. Let's see the objective. The send conveyor is lashed with the rising edge of sensor 0. This will be lashed. With its falling edge, this will be off. Now with the rising edge of sensor 3, this conveyor will be off. Okay, so that's how you can program the PLC using rising edge and falling edge using NONC and latch and latch commands to bring the box from that location to this location. Further, we'll be uh, delivering this box to roller conveyor, rotate this conveyor, and letting it deliver to another one side of conveyor.
right? Let's do that in the next videos. Thank you.